Investing is one of the most important sections we'll be covering on this channel. It's also one of the most highly requested topics by you guys. A lot of people are either scared of losing money in the stock market or just unsure of where to start. With investing, there are also a lot of confusing terms out there that you might have heard before. Things like GICs, bonds, stocks, mutual funds, all of which sound like noise. So today, we're going to explain these different types of investments and how they work. You know how we mentioned all those investment terms in the beginning? Well, I'll try not to bore you by explaining all of them in one minute. Ready? Let's go. Investing in a GIC is like giving the bank $100. The banks keep the money for an agreed period of time and will guarantee an agreed percentage of return. The only catch is that you can't touch that money during that time. But afterwards, the bank returns your money with some interest. GICs, low risk, but low rewards. Investing in bonds, you're lending your money to a corporation or government. These corporations or governments agree to pay you back after a set amount of time and will reward you with interest. It's a bit riskier than GICs, but it's unlikely that large corporations or governments will fail to pay you back. Bonds, low risk, low rewards. When you invest in stocks, you're buying part ownership of a company at a certain price, let's say $10. If the stock goes up to $20 and you sell your stock, you make money. But if the stock goes down to $2 and you sell your stock, you lose money. Like most investments, you really don't have control in whether the price goes up or down. Stocks, high risk, high reward. Mutual funds are a mix of stocks and bonds, with the stocks usually of the same industry. Rather than buying Apple, Google, and Microsoft stocks individually, you can buy this fund that contains all of these stocks together. Mutual funds, medium risk, medium reward. So let's look at everything. You can see here that low risk gives low rewards and high risk gives high rewards. Pretty obvious, right? Need some more examples? Betting in the casino or buying lottery tickets. That's high risk, high rewards. Lending money to a friend, collecting inheritance from Nigerian princes. That's high risk, but low rewards. So what's in this quadrant? Everyone's interested in investments that have relatively low risk, but still provide a good return. And what goes here are index funds. Index funds are similar to mutual funds, but instead of owning maybe 50 or so stocks within a mutual fund, an index fund owns almost all the stocks in a certain market. For example, the US index fund will not only own Apple, Google, Microsoft, but also every other major company in the United States. We'll talk more about index funds in a later video. And in the meantime, you can look at this chart and think for yourself what kind of investments are right for you. If you're new here, go ahead and click subscribe below. Also, join our email list at youngguysfinance.com. Birds, man. Can you hear them? Okay. Playing all this. Just scroll up. Scroll, 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 scroll. Yeah, a little bit more. Come on, man. Are you okay? I can't read that. <laughs> That's good right there. Thanks. Ready? Let's go. <laughs> That's so good, too. I hate you all. We're going to be old guys by the time this. No, I'm just kidding. Ready? Yeah.